Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition, and in this episode today, we are going to be doing some cool things. As you saw in that little starting montage there, we got ourselves a parrot from a jungle. I'll show you where that is on the map. Uh, I made the trip to the jungle to get our uh, brown banners uh, from Cocoa Beans and make a small Cocoa Bean farm, which is actually just right around here there and plant a jungle tree as well at spawn so people can get jungle saplings but we boated out of here along here round down uh moored up here built across a little bit of a ravine there and made our journey across into the jungle which is all the way over here and yeah we got ourselves a parrot i named it of course tobster squawk squawk after tobster squawk squawk the second this was the original Topster Squawk Squawk. I actually tamed two um, parrots, but one of them got unfortunately blown up by a creeper, but that was Topster Squawk Squawk. The second, we still have the original, to original Topster Squawk Squawk sat here in our window. But anyway, I am notorious for owning pets that don't make it for very long, so we'll see how many episodes this guy survives, because Topster Horse Horse, the first and second from SMPDX2, they didn't survive very long, but I have done some things. I have made a small staircase and a path going up to here it just makes it a lot easier to get to and our basement is just under here as you can see and i also improved our storage quite a bit by moving junk chests here and make a little storage area here but today we are going to be sorting up this path here most probably because yeah this this isn't great so instead of having a massive hole in the middle for a mine and going down and up we're actually going to excavate this a whole, whole area around here, not this whole area, but from like around here, sort of across to about like over here, we're gonna have we're gonna excavate it down to stone level, and we're gonna make it look like as if it's been dug out by hand, and we're gonna have a crane, and we're basically gonna make a quarry area that's gonna be in this area. This is where my mine shaft is gonna come be, and to get to my base, you're gonna have to run through the quarry and up the stairs. So that is another thing we can do. So yeah, basically, I have got a quarry to be building. So without further ado, I think we should get into the first bit of progress by tearing out all of this dirt here, just chopping through it with our Efficiency 5 Silk Touch Shovel, and basically making a big old hole in the ground. So I'm going to continue doing this, and I will see you guys back when we have got a substantial crater dug out. Okay, so now we have a thumping great big hole here to put in perspective. That's how big it is on the map. It's 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 a rather, rather large hole. I mean, that is where the uh, staircase used to be, and there's my vine staircase. But basically, now what we've got to do is stop this looking like such an angular hole by adding, like, stone going up the sides and making it kind of a bit smoother. That makes sense i kind of terraform it down in a way that makes it look like it's kind of been dug out a little bit if that makes sense so sort of bring it down in a kind of fashion that makes it look more dug and i'm also going to probably throw in a bit of cobble into there as well to make it just look a little bit more interesting so i'm going to do that basically all the way around and then we can get started on building some of the uh, machinery and stuff that's going to be going down here, but to put it in perspective, this this is quite a large hole, so I've got a lot of terraforming type stuff to do, so when I've done that, I'll get back with you and we can start work on some of the machinery and stuff like that, so yeah, I'm going to basically carry on chucking up some stone blocks in a fashion that kind of looks alright. And, yeah, I've got plenty of stone to do this, so I shouldn't worry about that. And, yeah, let's basically make this look dug out to an extent. Don't really quite know what I'm going to be doing over on that side, though, where it gets really high up. But we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. But, yeah, time to get terraforming. Okay, so what we have done in our massive hole is dug it down a bit further put the walls up and it's looking a bit better let me get out of this hole it's looking more organic which is good and i threw in not just cobblestone but gravel and andesite as well and as you notice it 
slowly gets more concentrated with these other materials if we look down here. Real compared to up there, it's more stone up there, more uh, mixed up down there, which is lovely. And as you can see in my inventory, we have got a lot of stuff. So let us craft a crafting table real quick, because we are going to be building uh, our first structure here. We're going to be building a crane, and the, the base of the crane is going to go right about here. And I think the best place to start would be with a little bit of oak wood. Just put a cross of oak wood just there like that. And this oak wood goes up three blocks like that. And yeah, it's not it's not a difficult build at all. And then we bring it up once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times. And then what we need is our observer blocks, but we need to place them in a specific way. So actually we don't want them, we want our stairs. And the front's gonna come out of this direction and the back's gonna come out of this direction. And our observers are gonna go along like this. So it doesn't really matter what orientation they're in, That, but obviously not that. We need to get to a position where we can actually place them all. Nope, when we can all place them sideways so we can get that lovely texture they have on their sides. And uh, the best way to probably do this is probably put the front bit coming out. So how far does that come out? That comes out one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if we stand back here, we can probably get that in. There we go, that's what we wanted. So that comes out six blocks, and then we want to put a stair on the front. And what this will do is basically be the front bit where the attachment goes. And all along the top, we want to grab some slabs and just put them along the top, like so. And then on here, we want stairs and a log with a slab on it and as you can see we're getting a kind of crane shape we want to put on the sides of this log here some trap doors and didn't want to put that one there though that's not what we wanted to do and we want to grab some signs and these signs are going to be going along the side of the entire crane oh and we've fallen off well that's a good place to fall off actually because we do need some more stairs so that was completely deliberate. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was 100% deliberate. That was a deliberate fall. But as you can see, yeah, we're getting the crane shape coming across. And yeah, if we just use, what can we use as scaffold? We'll use some birch as scaffolding. So let's just pillar up at the end of my bed here and finish off what we were doing with the uh, crane just up here. And we want to use our slabs and bring that out a couple blocks as well. And put some more signs on and a full all right this is not going well this is why I don't usually build on camera because my building process is a lot like this I fall off everything I fall off absolutely every little bit of scaffolding I ever place down so yeah that's basically what happens that's why I don't build on camera quite a bit ah uh, see what is that sign doing that? I misplace a lot of different blocks. But anyway, we're going to just get the bases of this crane sorted out. Do a little bit of the details off camera. Because I'm getting tired of trying to build on camera and falling every five seconds. Because it's probably not the most entertaining thing you've ever seen. Anyway, let's remove that sign because that's ridiculous. Put that there. There we go. We got one side done. Except we need to pop over here to get... Uh, the observer on this side signed up. There we go. So we got the basis of the crane with the sign. So we need to go out out the back of these observers now. We should let's let's see if we can get on top. We can't probably, but we can try. Uh, we need a little bit of scaffold just there. We can't actually use that trap door, but another bit of scaffold. Get on top of the trap door. Perfect. Let's grab our oak wood again and bring the back bit out once and twice and then get our stairs again and put a stair on the back this is where the counterweight is going to be going because as you know cranes need counterweights otherwise they'll topple over but yeah there we go we've got a basis for our crane let's see if we can get out this side and put our signs on so one there one there one there we're going to do this without falling and we've got the perfect amount yeah i totally planned that i didn't just bring a random amount and hope that we didn't have to craft anymore. But yeah, there we go. That's the top of the crane 
essentially done. Oh, we do need more signs. I uh, forget everything I just said. Anyway, we need our trap doors once again to put one there and also one over the other side if we can actually get to it. Hmm, what's the easiest way to do this? Like that, like a pro. Absolutely well done. Well done me, pat on the back. Anyway, there we go, that's the top of the crane. I'm done, we need to craft a few more signs up, but you get, you get basically get the picture. If we can, we can actually make a crafting table now. I know we've got another one down below and that's probably a waste, but you know what, we've got tons of logs. And these, these oak logs supplied by Nano, thank you Nano for supplying these oak logs. Uh, because I didn't have any and Nano supplied me with them. So we'll grab a couple of signs there. Finish off what we hadn't done, which is these two here, and actually around the other side as well. Just under here as well, perfect. Let's get under here and finish off the signs. There we go, and out the back here we can actually do the counterweight if we get some of our spruce fences. I want to bring two of them down and build our scaffolding a little bit lower. So let's take out this block and put that down there and bring that across. And the scaffolding is gonna be, but not the scaffolding, the counterweight is gonna be made out of iron blocks. So we're gonna, you put two of these iron blocks down and that's basically the counterweight, but we're gonna enclose it in trap doors. But of course we need a couple more from our crafting. So where's our crafting table? Over there. Can we reach it? No, we need to get up there. Of course we do. There we go. Let's make some more trapdoors. Let's put on our counterweight. And we need to scaffold around. There we go. So you're basically getting the picture of what this crane is going to look like. Uh, I've got a couple of details that I need to do, like the front bit and uh, the support here. But you basically get an idea of what this crane is going to look like. I need to do some touching up details. I'm not 100% sold on how it looks, but I kind of had an idea in my head of what blocks, where we're going to use and stuff. But yeah, this is like kind of something I need to work on a little bit because it is looking a bit flimsy on the supports and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to take a cut here, finish up this crane and get a couple more details going down. And I'll catch you back when we have got a bit more progress done on the machinery and aesthetics of this giant hole here. Okay, so it's been a while, everyone. We are up here at the house after just having slept. I'm on 130 sleeps now, but yeah, it has been a while, but I have done quite a bit of progress. As you can see, there's wood down there. Uh, I... Finished up the crane, I built a couple more structures and stuff down here. So this is what it's looking like right now. We've got this wooden platform connecting the path up to my staircase. And if we look over the edge, we got the finished crane, which looks awesome. That really does bring the place together. A little, um, what's it called? Like a pallet or something to put some coal ore on because this is a coal mine. Now I've put some coal down the bottom there. And we've got a little hut over here and this is just the entrance down to my strip mine. So, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking really, really good. I'm really enjoying how this is looking. I think I've done a really good job on this. So, I think that's where we're going to be leaving the quarry for now. I don't think there's much more needed to be done with the quarry. And I think a good thing to probably do now is to get some more stuff done just around the base in general. So, if you look up here, we have uh, a couple things done. We have actually quite a bit done. We've got... Uh, paths and stuff going different places and things, but I don't know, it needs it needs kind of some prettying up, so basically I'm going to see how long this episode has been running for, and depending on how long it's been going and how long I have left to record this thing, I'm going to do some various different things in and around the base, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but I'm going to basically check on what is happening, oh the quarry looked great from up here. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Anyway, I'm going to be looking at the recording and see how long uh, this episode has been going. And basically just decide what to do depending on how much we time we have left. I could just do some mining or I could do whatever. But some things that need to be sorted out of this staircase, the staircase going up to the portal and various other things. So I'm basically going to see what I can get done and 
yeah, I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so for the last part of this episode, we're not actually going to be working on the base anymore. I have come up with an idea. No one has yet pulled a prank on SMPDX3. So I am going to be the first. I am going to be the first to pull a, a full-scale prank on someone, and it's going to be on Nano. So Nano, if you are watching, switch off now and go and react to the prank recording and everything so we can see your reaction in your episode. But yeah, we are going to be building something that refers to a joke that may not actually be on YouTube. But uh, for a while now, we've been saying hashtag sad nano, which is a thing that has been going between me, nano, and like all of the SMPDXs for so long now. It's been going for like a month or so. I'm just hashtag sad nano or hashtag mad nano or hashtag something like that. And it's just a thing. And sometimes people will say hashtag nad sano or something like... um. Spoonerize it so move the things around so what we're gonna do today with concrete and some glass We're gonna build a uh, a Sad nano and we're gonna do it down the bottom here where nano has been doing lots and lots of digging I hope there's enough space down here to do it because I was trying to think of somewhere where there's enough space That will be somewhat hidden so he asked so he won't see it when he logs on but he'll only see it when I tell him to record it but Yeah, we're gonna go all the way down. I apologize for spiral staircasiness making it kind of a pain to watch, but that's why Nano built a spiral staircase to make a pain for me spinning. And it takes a while to get down here because of Amplified, but how much space do we have down? Oh, we've got plenty of space to play with down here. Oh, this is great. So where, where should we build it? Which wall should we build it? So if you're coming down, we'll come down to here. So we'll build it on this wall here. And yeah, we're basically going to start by... Uh, let's break this torch for now and put that just a block forward or so. Uh, we need to start by laying out a, uh, a Enderman face, because Nano's Minecraft skin is an Enderman, so if we lay out an Enderman face, we should be good. So that's one, that's eight across, and we need to go eight up, so one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, run away. Nano, light this place up better. Right. We need to continue making his Enderman face. Let's pillar up on this side. There we go, and... Where is that skeleton? Scaring me. Anyway, we'll build across, there we go. So we have the basis for an Enderman face. I think the, we should put another layer of black concrete there. And put uh, our eyes at this height, that makes a lot of sense. So actually we do need to punch out, not that block, but the one above it and that block there it's kind of hard to see with this black concrete but there we go and we need to get our magenta and our purple so if we put a purple purple and a purple purple and a magenta and a magenta we can start to see oh that's gonna look incredible all right um all right there we go now we need to get a kind of mouth in here because i know endermen don't usually have to find mouths until they get angry at you but if we do this no that doesn't look very good at all if we do that hmm how does this look hmm oh hello Right, we need to figure out a mouth here. That's my axe. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. So we're going to punch this wall back a little bit. I'm sorry, Nano, for ruining your lovely chamber that I'm now killing with my pickaxe. But let's get our red concrete because, I don't know, red kind of fits the inside of a mouth. So there we go, he looks, oh that's brilliant, he looks absolutely terror, like absolutely mortified, he looks so sad. And now we actually need to just grab a little bit of blue stained glass, just wrap that around there like that. Yeah, tears, <laughs> that's so great. Oh, this is going to be amazing. It already is amazing, there we go, we got, we got a sad nano. <laughs> We've got a sad nano. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. I'm so happy with how that turned out. 
Right, let's put down a couple signs. Hashtag sad nano or hashtag nad sano from Toby. There we go. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. It's only a small prank, but when he finds this and when he recalls it, I can assure you he's going to absolutely love it. And I absolutely love it. That's so much fun. That was such a great thing to build. So there we go. We've got a hashtag. Actually, let's put another torch this side so it just lights up a little bit. There we go. We've got a hashtag sad nano there <laughs> built in his chamber. So when he comes down and sees that, I hope he records it because I want to see his reaction to that. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Today we got a lot done. We built a quarry, which is awesome, and we pranked Nano with hashtag sad Nano. And I've got the biggest smile on my face now. You can probably hear it in the way I'm talking. It's absolutely amazing how I built that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And basically, yep, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.